eyes and I see this love in his eyes. I thought, no, this man is different. The only way I'm going to get rid of this man what is to give him my address. Up? So I gave him my address and said, here you are. Goodbye. I will never see you again. What? I went home. Three days later, something happened to me that never happened to me before. I got up that morning and it was like someone took the world off my shoulders. For the first time in my life, I had peace. Did you? I had peace. Did you? That peace has never ever left me. I've had that peace. And I'll tell you something, I've had some storms, I've had some bad things happen to my, in my life, but I have peace. Did you? I have peace. Did you? I love people. That's what I've come to share with you. I love people. I've come to share the good news with you. And not only did, not only did I get peace, for the first time in my life, I noticed the sky was blue. Yeah, yeah. So what is the good news that I you'd like to share with us? The sky was blue because I wanted to be a millionaire. So I never, I, never saw, I, I never saw people. I never saw people. What I just is the good news? Was money. Money was my God. I saw the sky was blue and I saw the grass was green. What is the good news? All of a sudden, I noticed. I looked at life in a different way. Well, life is, because, I, I I got, because I got born again. Are you colorblind? Because I got born again. Have you been drinking? And listen, so, listen. Um, oh, hold on, you know something? Let me tell you a story. Sorry, before you go into the story, just one second. You want to share with us the good news. I think that's important for us to know, right? Rather than your stories. What is the good news that you'd like to share with us yeah. on an intellectual, rational level? A few here, moments Francis, later. Uh-uh, you stay here. If they can't believe the apostle, if they can't believe the prophets, and they can't believe the law, how are they going to believe someone that comes up from the dead? I have not come back from the dead, but I have had an experience. I have met God, and I've come to tell you about him. Whether you believe him... Did you hear my or, question? Huh? I am born again. I've told you I don't like religion. I didn't ask I am, you about whether you're born again or born twice or thrice. I simply asked you, you said you, you want to share the good news, right? So a good news has to be based on something that, as you were explaining, oh, you're a very intelligent man, so you've understood the difference between the concept of no God in contrast to concept of having a God, right? You were discussing with an atheist. What is the good news that you want to share with us, the good news. Which, which we don't need to rely on your experience or someone else's experience, but our intellect can really drive us to the truth of it. Do you know something? No. Let me say something. Yeah, I stand here today in front of you, all of you. You know something? I do not fear death. What is the good news? I'm going to get to that. Keep to the. I do not fear death. Some of you here are afraid of dying. Lots of people, you know the one word, cancer. A lot of people are afraid of the word cancer. Why are people afraid of the word cancer? Because they are afraid of death. Because they will say to you, I don't believe there's anything out there. You say the word cancer to them, all of a sudden they're afraid. Because they know they're going to die and they know there's something out there. They know there's something out there. And I've come here to tell you today, that you, if you're born again, when you die, you will not go to hell, but you will go to live with God. Is That's that, the good news. When you die, fine. you will so not let me, go to hell. Let me try to understand go this good news. With God. So born, you have to be born again, right? Yes, you have to be so born again. So obviously this is a metaphorical way of saying you don't have to be born again physically. But before you, 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 you discuss this good news in detail, you talk about God. Do you believe God is one or three in one? I gave you a binary question, option which is a binary. Yeah? If, you, if, you, if you allow me to finish my question. So many Christians come with their Bibles in their hands. God is and not a often, numerical oh, unity. Um, He's a compound well, unity. Life, man. Leave, leave, He's leave, not leave, a leave, numerical leave. unity as the Muslims believe. Maker, man. He is vast. And you cannot fathom well, God by your natural him mind. Him finish. Him finish. And what this right. man is saying is you've got to be born again of the Holy him? Spirit. Oh, okay, yes. right. That there's a spiritual kingdom just as a material kingdom. Much, much, much later. Do you agree one is not the same as two in one? So you're trying to figure out God's head again in the oh, no. I'm not talking about God. In anything, one is not the same as two in one, is it? Is it are they the same? Is one and two in one the same? No, no, no. Excuse me. You said you're an intelligent man. That's why I came and started listening to you. So now please use your intelligence that God has given you, your God, 
Is one and two in one the same? Or are they different? Okay, no, no, no. I'm not going to answer that. You know why I'm not going to answer that? Because when you come to God, you have to have faith. Faith. You have to. You come to God. He says He. He says God. He says God. He says um. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. He that comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So you have to come to God by faith. You can't come to God with your natural, physical mind and try to figure him out. I read the story about Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a Jewish man. Okay, stop there. Very, hold on, stop again. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Nicodemus. Have you ever, have you ever been to a superstore like a shop that you've used money where there is one p, two p, five p, ten pence, one pound, right? And when you say buy one get one free, do you get one or do you get two? Listen here. Uh, one second, one second. We're not talking about gods now. We're talking about mundane things. Yes, I know three Wait, months. wait. So when you say, and a shop says, if you buy one, you get one free. Buy one, get one free. So do they give you two things or one thing when you buy one and get one free? Two things. Two things, right. So is one the same as two in one? No. Good. Is one the same as three in one? No. Excellent. Excellent. I thank you for that, for, admit, for this clear, clear, clear admissions. Yes. So if you believe in one God, then you automatically reject the three in one God because they're not the same. You know something? So which Hold one on. is it? One or three listen, in one? Listen, listen. Just to clarify once again. This is this is the, this Bible is the word of God. And in, in That's in what Ma you believe, right? In Matthew five, listen here. When Jesus Christ came to earth, Jesus when Jesus quoted, he quoted from the law and he quoted from the prophets. Who was he? He quoted way? from the he quoted from the Pentateuch. Yeah, who is he? This is the Bible. Who Jesus, is, when he quote, when he who is Jesus? The, Jesus is the is God. He's the Son of God. Wait, 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 wait. Listen here. Listen no, no, here. Slow down, slow down, slow down. So Jesus is God. He's come down on this earth, and he's saying, "I'm going to my God." Did he ever say that? Did he ever say Your this? God and my God. One second, one second, one second. If Jesus is God, and you said you believe in how many gods? One God. Is Jesus that one God? You know, there is only one God, right? Let me answer you. Can I answer you? And and, and yeah, do Can answer. answer but do answer. But my, my question is this: When this one God, Jesus says, "I am going to my God," so He has a God. So how many gods are there so far? Listen, listen, listen. listen. This, this, this guy wants to break everything down into little minute compartments. Listen here. Jesus touched my life and he changed my life and he transformed my life. I don't know it all. I'll tell you something, I know nothing. In all the grand scheme of things, so you're now talking much, about stories and experiences how much again. There is to know on earth, I know so you're talking nothing. about your experiences well, you know again. something? I believe this Bible is the word of God and I live by this Bible. I live by the word. I don't live by the Quran, I live by this book. Okay. So when Jesus says, I'm going to my God, how come one God has another God? If Jesus indeed is God according to your own admission? It's the mysteries of the universe. It's not a mystery, my friend. It's a mystery of the universe. The moment, the moment you say there is only one God, and you say Jesus is God, okay. then by, by your own intelligence, you're saying, if there is only one God and Jesus is God, he must be that God, right? Listen. But, but, one second. But Jesus says, I'm going to my God. So you are now saying there are actually two gods. You know something? Where is your intelligence? Okay, let me, let me explain I have not, I have not seen God, but I've come to, I've come to share with you about Him. About, hold on, hold about on, hold on. what? Let me finish. I have not seen God, but I've come to share with you about God. What I've learned from this book, which is the Word of God, I've come to share it with you. Just because you can't see something, doesn't mean it's not there. And if you, if you, if you say, I got to see something to believe it. Have you ever seen gravity? Okay. Have you I ever think, seen gravity? Let me answer. Have you ever seen gravity? Let me answer. Yes. I think you're totally out of place. You you have somehow learned the didactics or arguments how to speak to an atheist. I am a believer in God already. I believe in gravity without actually seeing gravity. The question I asked you is, what makes you as an intelligent person say that God is one and yet demonstrate that God is true? Let me ask you a very important question, what Jesus actually says in your own Bible. According to Jesus Christ, who is the only true God? Is that him? Jesus himself? 
You got God the Father, God the According Father, to Jesus God Christ. The Holy Spirit. According to many Christians, you'll be surprised they don't know. So I won't be surprised if you didn't know. I can point out the biblical verse and you will learn from it. It's your book, not mine. According to Jesus Christ himself, who is the only true God? You know something? I'm still not going to change my story. My story is everybody um, needs to be born again. My you friend, need to be born again. My friend. You need to be born again. You see? Everybody needs if, to be born again. If Jesus Christ... Listen, people can make up excuses. They can make up excuses. Hide behind intellectual, intellectual arguments. But you still need to be born again. I am born again. I am born again and I am going to heaven. When, when I am born again. When, when, answer him. You got, so, I told you. So, I told you. you got according to Jesus Christ. God the Father. No, you didn't hear my question. According to Jesus Christ, as recorded in the New Testament. Okay, okay. Not according to your own thinking. Yeah. Who is the only true God? Do you know, he doesn't know. what Christ no, said? Okay. What do you think? Do you think it's Christ himself? Let me ask you a question. Oh, go ahead. Let me ask you a question. The word God is actually a Western word. Is it? Yes, God. So you got God, use God, the word God, spell it backwards, is dog. Isn't it? God and dog. I'm answering his question. Let me answer his question. God, God has a name. God has a name. And the Jews call him Adonai. His name is Adonai. Adonai. That's God's name, Adonai. Now answer the question. Adonai. So you got God the Father. Jesus is, 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 is Jesus the Messiah. Another part of the Trinity. You got the Trinity, three in one, the Trinity. God the Father, Adonai, Why are you God the yourself? Son, God the Son, and God the I'm Holy Spirit. I'm simply saying, according to Christ himself, oh, it's a he's, mystery. He's, no, he's, he it's didn't a say it's a mystery. The Bible said it's a mystery. Uh, it's not. Open up John the 17. Bible said, the Bible says it's a mystery. Okay. Would you mind opening up John 17 and verse 3 and read it? Because the statement of Jesus is there in black and white. Yes. Maybe in red, if it's a red letter Bible. Would you mind opening up? John 17. Verse 3. Okay, you know something? Muhammad, Excuse me, please, please, please. No, 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 no. Would you mind reading your own Bible, Listen. what Jesus Christ has to say about the only true God? Listen here. Listen here. The Bible is may, not may, under, may I show it to you? The Bible is not under discussion okay. right now. I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you. You know what to say? Quote it. No, no, I'm going to show it to you. No, you're only embarrassing. Is this a true? And no more mystery. It's a letter to the Bible, so it should be in red. This is what Jesus prays for himself, right? And he says, and this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. So who is he talking about? Jesus spoke these words, lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son, that your son also may glorify you, as you have given him authority over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to us, many as you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God. So according to Christ, who is the only true God? Okay. Come on. See. No, no, no. Let me answer. Let me answer. Let me answer. Let him get, next week he will come after you. No, no, no. He does not. He will put the sign. So we've identified a clear statement of Christ. According to his own words, the only true God is the one he is saying, My Father, who is in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Right? calling the Bob in Rome to answer him. Genesis. No, no, don't argue with him. He's tough. He's tough. Let me with him. Come on in. Come no, on. No, no, no. Let me tell you. Ah, you're running again. No, no, no. Did you allow me to finish my sentence? Yeah, Thank you. I'm ready to have a debate with him about the God of, of Islam versus the God of Christianity. That is the only debate. 
Yeah? It's one God for both. Well, okay, fine. Okay, 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 well, okay. The understanding of God in Islam versus the understanding of God in Christianity. It's the same. So, what did you understand by that? According to Christ, who is the only true God? Is that not a good Is that not a good Is it the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit? Is it this Holy Spirit only? Is it the Son only? Is it the Father only? Is it all of them? But it's the same God. Hold on. The same God you're saying what Jesus said there. No. In that statement, yeah. what is Jesus saying? But didn't, didn't Jesus, hold on. You gotta understand. Jesus, didn't, didn't Jesus say, my, God, God and my Father are one? Didn't he, didn't he not say that? Excuse me. Didn't he not say that? In this verse. Yes, God is true God. One moment. Yes. In this verse. In this verse. Yeah. Okay. According to Christ himself, who is the only true God? God is. You got, you got sorry, 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 sorry. What, what's the answer? God. No, he didn't say God. Who is the only true God according to Christ? Let me give you options. Is the only true God the Son only? Is the only true God the Holy Spirit only? Is the only true God the Father only? Or is the only true God all the three? It's one, the three in one. According to Christ, three in one. that you can read in red. Three in, one. Three in, in red. One. Excuse me. According to what you've just read, you are, you are an intelligent man in your own admissions. What I would like to do also for you to reflect that, am I sincere? Ask yourself, if you're a sincere individual, you should know that what you've read is the only true God is not the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Okay, I, I went. Okay, I, I went to Israel last year. Okay. Did you? Yes, that's it. I went to Israel. Okay, that's it. I went to Israel. I don't know your stories anymore. I went to Israel. We went to Israel last year, and I went to the tomb of Jesus Christ. You know something? It wasn't there. Did you want to know? Because Jesus, 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 Jesus hung on the cross. They crucified him, and he says, "Father, forgive them. Forgive them." For they know not what they do. They crucified him. He hung on the cross. They crucified him and he died. And he said, before he died, he says, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. They took this dead man and they put him in a grave. They put the dead man in a grave. It is, it is really he surprising. Do you know what's surprising? Why do he was dead? Why why do you worship? What he said before he died, he said on the third day I will rise again. I want I want to ask my friend a question. On the third day I will rise again. How do you feel on the third day? How do you feel? I will rise Are you listening? Are you listening? How do you feel? On the third day, I yeah. will love rise Father, again. Listen love yourself and Excuse love me. your neighbor on like the yourself. Third day, Hello? You are selfish, man. On the third day, this my friend, the angels came from heaven and they rolled the stone oh. away. Oh. Okay, okay, brothers. They rolled brothers, the please. stone away. Oh. And Jesus Father, came I want to, I want to understand oh, one thing. And then, and our then, Christian and then Mary Magdalene, friends, Mary Magdalene came oh. down. How do they worship a naked man on a stick? Do you really think, do you really think with your intelligence, with your dignity, you can worship a naked man on a stick? When he hung on the cross, the earth began to oh, shake. Really? The earth Hang began him. to shake when they, when he hung naked on the tree on the cross, the earth began to shake and the sky went dark. The soldiers who crucified him said, surely, Surely, this one is this God. This man is the Son of God. Oh, oh not God. Oh, that is oh, that is one of the. So the soldiers refuted them. Surely, this is the you Son know of God. Let me shake your hands. This is the let Son shake, of God. Let me shake your hands. So this the soldiers the refuted your belief. The soldiers didn't say this man is God. The soldier says this is a Son of God, just like Adam is a Son of God. David is a Son of God. Ephraim is a Son of God. You know, Solomon is a Son of God. So now, according to your own admission. Your belief has been refuted by these Roman soldiers. Muhammad is still in the grave. You know what? My friend, Muhammad never rose from the dead. Muhammad never rose from the dead. I am so grateful to Allah for having guided me to Islam. Sadly, I am the only Muslim in my family. It hurts me that my parents haven't accepted Islam yet, and I ask Allah to guide them. But it also gives me a special drive to work for the establishment of Islam. I don't want anyone to miss the chance of becoming Muslim. The Prophet وسلم, said that the Muslims are like one body. If you can feel my pain, would you please help me relieve it? You are now my new family.
click the link and donate to establish this masjid and share in the reward for the message of Islam reaching the corners of Norway.